pound ninety for a pack of Percy pigs. Can you all smash that like button so I can afford to get some M and S Percy pigs, please? Hello. Oh, <laughs> All right, so it's Man City at home today. It's also an FPL record day today. It is the most captained player by people in the whole world. Five million people have all captained Erling Haaland for tonight's game, which is an FPL record. And I feel sorry for them five million people because Toro Mings is going to have him in his back pocket all game. But I also am one of those five million people that also does have Haaland captained. It's going to be a long night, boys. Hey, Man City, what's going to happen? To be honest, mate, I can't see nothing more than a, a three or four goal, four goal loss. Today. Yeah, it's, how, how many is Harlan going to get? How, who's going to score? Double action. Double action. <laughs> yeah. You're in or out? Out. Out. ASAP. Okay, and at other Villa. Yeah. All right, we've got three Villa fans here today. Peter, Pete and John. What's going to happen today, Man City? I reckon we're going to win. You reckon we're going to oh, win? Course, Score yeah. prediction? Um, I'm going to go, we're going to win one more. What, what, okay. Yeah, I think it'll be a draw. Uh, hopefully we'll uh, keep Harlan down. Cause yep. He's never scored against us. So. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. And what, what's your thoughts? Uh, I think perhaps the inevitable is going to happen, but as long as we show some fight and yeah. some spirit and a little bit of hope for the future. Yeah. Nice. It's sort of pressure that um, Gerard's under then. To be fair, this game's a game you're going to lose anyway whenever you play. So is, it, is, it, is this game really that, that, that important for him? It's, it's understandable that he's feeling the pressure. I mean, I think most Villa fans can see that it's not working, whether it be the selections, the formations, the substitutions. Yep. It's kind of, it's all over the place. I don't think he's got that long to remedy it, to be honest. Yeah. And what do you think is going to happen for the rest of the season? Where are we going to finish? Where are we going to finish? Yeah. Uh, hopefully as high as possible. Um, if Steve, uh, Steve Gerrard said he is under pressure. Yeah. Hopefully we want him to succeed. All Villa fans want him to succeed. So let's hope he does. And uh, let's hope we can keep him and carry on from there. Up the Villa. Okay. And uh, up the Villa. Up the Villa. On, how many is, how many is Hallam going to get today? Come on. <laughs> This is going to be the first game that he's not going to score. Okay. Right? He's not going to score. He's never scored against us before. And um, he won't start today. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Up the villa. We're going in the ground now. Here we go. Granddad, forcing the first half. 
poorly played well actually. He contained them well. I mean, he did well against Harlan. Yeah. I think, I think Gerard is probably thinking, they'll get away with it today, whatever happens now. Yeah. We'll give it a go, so that's amazing. Yeah. That's what the fans want to see. Yeah. Addy, what's the final score going to be? I was looking at it thinking a draw actually. I came in thinking we were going to get hammered, and I'm like, actually, I think we might want to have a draw. I'll go one or. One all. I think we definitely grew into the game. I thought we started a little bit slow, but we picked it a little bit up. I think going forward, I think we've been okay in general. I just think Kevin De Bruyne, Gundogan, they're everywhere. But Alan hasn't really touched the ball, and we've played all right. So let's keep it up. We just need that one chance, and we probably won't take it because we've got Watkins at first. But anyway, keep going. Okay, so we're literally just talking about Alan not doing too much, and then we said about how his hat tricks are just tappings. Two seconds later, there's a ball in the box, he's just tapped it in. 1 0 City. 50 minutes in. I mean, we're playing alright, but who knows what happens now. Come on! Help him! Uh, help him! There's no one in the box. Oh, Watkins is. <laughs> Bloody hell, just get it out. <laughs> Oh, good save. Seventeen minutes in. Since the goal, we've really dropped off. We're giving City all the space and time in the world, and they're just passing it about between us so easy. If we've got a goal, we need to get a chance because we haven't even had a proper chance. So, come on. Come on, if we want to draw or even three points potentially, we need to get a goal soon, so come on. This is going to be it. Here comes Jack. There he is. A bit of mixed reception.
all time Villa 1 Man City 1 I can't really moan about the result and I can't really moan about the performance either I thought the City even when we went 1-0 down we still looked like we were kind of in the game I think that Kevin De Bruyne and Gundogan did control the game going forward for Man City but in general I thought we competed with City really well obviously they had a lot more of the ball and they were passing it around more than us but we played okay. Watkins probably had his best game of the season, holding the ball up really well and uh, dealing with the City defenders. Bailey, again, looked really alive today and got his goal. Ashley Young, yes, played very well when he came on, dealt with Phil Foden very well. And overall, I thought, I thought the result was probably fair, to be honest. I think it's a good result for us. Not great for City, but again, City didn't play awful. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash a like. A lot better today, a lot better than previous weeks. And can we hold on to that? And can we winning future games city fans if you're new please hit the subscribe button if you enjoy or share the video around or whatever it does mean a lot and uh see you guys soon